I was looking through my cupboards and I found this. It's a Sci on Series 5 and it's dated 1997, so it's 15 years old. This little mini computer. And I, I've, ever since the Kindle came out, it's got a leather case. Ever since the Kindle came out, I've always wanted something similar to a Kindle, but for writing with, you know, like something you can write with instead of just reading. It uses two AA batteries. I've got some rechargeable somewhere as well. And it interfaces with larger computers via an RS-232 and an infrared port. It's touch screen, but I am, and it's got batteries, but I use my Mini Gorilla to power it. So a little 5 volt input. But it seems to be taking 8.4 volts, no problem. Switch it on. And then I put the backlight on. You know, working at night time, if you've got something else playing, you can sit and take notes with it. I love it because it's it's just so simple. You don't get distracted by modern day sort of things. It's not internet connected, nothing like that. You make a new file. It's got Word spreadsheet. You've got a sketch pad, but I just use it for writing on. So open a new document and just start typing. It's got all the things you'd expect from basic word, word pads, you know, you can change the size, font, bold, underline, italic. It's just, if you're just watching something, listening to something, perfect for just taking out with you. Instead of carrying around the laptop or... I mean, I, I'm not one for using tablets, really. It's, it's just, this is probably as close to a tablet PC as I'd ever really get to, because... I mean, if I, if I want to go on the internet, I use a computer. I'm not one for looking around the place. So anyway, you save your file as you save a file on anything. It's all touch screen so you can use the one or you can use your finger. But anyway, so the thing is, once you've saved your file, how do you get it onto your computer? I spent days trying to get things onto my computer via this thing. And I managed to find this laptop with an infrared port. But I couldn't get the infrared port to work without using you have to go and get this thing, IRCOM two K, made by this great guy, Jan Kiska. And you need a copy of Cywin also. Cywin's like the interface which um, represents the Cyan 5 on your on the computer. So once I've got all that installed, it took me days to do. You place the um, the port of the Cyan in front of the uh, infrared port of the laptop. But you don't switch the Cyan infrared link until you need it. So it's not on right now, it's not transmitting anything, so I wait till I'm perfectly ready to do everything. And I initiate the infrared link on the Scion. So it says remote link, and you've got a choice of cable, but I couldn't find that cable. I'd never find a cable to fit. So luckily, I have an infrared link. And that that laptop's running Windows XP. So I mean, I don't know about later editions. This is like a really old laptop I found in my attic. So as soon as I initiate the link. I go into my Cywin and I start connecting. And if you look on the left, the far left infrared thing is the built in drive. It. That's disappeared now. You've got to wait for that to stop working for the IRCOM. This is the IRCOM kicking in. So that's transmitting information. And if it doesn't work first time, I don't think it works first time here. But you just press retry because sometimes the, um, the old, well, the new, you have to basically what the IRCOM is, it's it's an older version of the uh, the drivers for the infrared. So what the XP has, you know, gone and updated everything, and it's no longer. It doesn't work anymore with the with the science. So you have to download older drivers. But anyway, here here you go. I've, I've initiated a link between my Scion and this old HP laptop. Then I go into my Scion, and it just lists all the folders like it has on the. Um, so I've got my internal, or I've got my 20 megabyte external, which is a disk, on the Scion. And with Word documents, you don't need any, you know, Word documents don't take up any space at all. You'd never, you'd never made, you'd never make a megabyte of Word documents. You'd have to write so many words. So just for writing input, just for writing stories, articles, reviews, it's exactly what I want. Something like a Kindle, you know, just monochrome. And just for writing, you know, whereas a Kindle is just for reading. So anyway, so I transferred the file there across. I just dragged it into a folder from my Zion. And then I open it and it makes it into a Word document, well, a WordPad document anyway. 
and then I open that and there's my fire from my sale which is awesome I think it's the best thing in the world and with my mini grill I think it probably the batteries would last forever so I've got no problem there awesome